Welcome back to Super Auto Pads, and today we will play versus mode because I just lost like three games where I got five wins, four wins, stuff like this. I'm done. Um, join public, I guess. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe this is what I need. You know, maybe this is just what I need. I I need a versus mode. You know. I don't know what to do here. I guess the pig. I guess the cricket. Ooh, the cricket with the honey together. That could be good. So now we just always wait until someone plays, right? Where's the mode where you have four lives? Like, you can lose four games. Or something like this. I think I saw one where you had exactly four lives. Interesting. Interesting. What are people waiting for? You can't do that much on turn 1 or am I just doing something utterly wrong? The Lush Piggies versus the Burbling Rangers. Oh, that looks really good for us. Amazing. Okay. That doesn't look really good for us anymore. Ooh, another cricket throw. And I guess I'll just go for a fish. I like a fish. And then just summon one more guy here towards the end, like this. That looks good. So now we're just waiting again. What is this button, by the way? Did I just instantly go into a fight? Oh, that was the last fight. Yeah, let's, let's leave that. What is this? Oh, you can look at what the enemies have. Or had. Had. It's last fight, yeah. Interesting. Uh, we definitely have this one. Ah, uh, depends on where this le- Oh no, this is huge for him. Yeah, we don't have this one. It, it, putting it at 4 health was like the death wars. Man. That's sad. <laughs> if I get the hedgehog, I just kill everything that I have. <sighs> I'll get this one for gold. I'll get the cricket, and I'll upgrade it, and I'll get an instant... <sighs> All is good. All is good. I'm not mad. All is good. Dude, can you just freeze, freeze, roll, hedgehog. Okay, and turn. <laughs> Sometimes everything is cursed. What do some people have here? Triple fish. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Oh, he tripled his fish. That was the guy I was looking at. Really? Yeah, we lost. No, we, we tied. We tied a triple fish that just buffed all of the team. That is insane. Right. Okay, let's get rid of the fish. Um, Let's get the hedgehog in. And let's just roll. Is there any way I could make this happen? I mean, I could just do this. I know I'm wasting, like, stuff that I had on him. But I think it's okay. Another hedgehog, wow. Another pill, wow. And two crickets, wow. That's exactly 10 gold. That is perfect for me. <sighs> How do we have to wait until the timer runs out every single turn? Or... Oh, so is this like... It will always run out of time. Like, it will it will not automatically start the game just because everyone is done. Wait, is it? do I have to click something to say, hey, I'm done? Or that would be horrible. If I was the reason that this doesn't, you know, go any faster. Okay. If that was the other way around with the B and the other stuff, that would have been better. 
Okay, so two people apparently left the game, I think. That's okay, I guess. So the swan will die to the hedgehog, so I'll just put the swan first. There's another blowfish. I don't know how I always get cursed into the blowfish build. No, there's end turn. Yeah, and I always click that, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, what do the enemies have? Tooth. Wait, isn't that just... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a level three fish that he will have. His team will be so freaking buffed up the moment he combines them. Like, he's probably just looking for the perfect pieces to replace the Cricket and the Flamingo. And then he will combine the first ones, which give a huge buff. And then, like, he looks for another perfect piece, and then he com makes the last step and combines them. That will be utterly crazy. It would even be better if he finds another fish, right? Because then he could combine, he could add a fish on top. Wait, he could make that even more insane. Well, he would need to find two fishes, that's unlikely. But if he just finds one more fish, he can make a two level two buffs and then one level three buff. Which wastes a fish, but you add another level two buff, right? That must be worth it. That must definitely be worth it. Okay, that's very... that's... Yeah, that's good. I think. Depending on where that hit, and it missed. Ah, uh, that we won! I can't believe it! We won a game! We are actually this- we actually have the second highest health right now. Dude, for real? Hmm, how do I do this? Do I just do, like, combine it? Or do I keep, like, two blo- Nah, I'll just combine it. Oh, wait a second. That's good, right? And I think I'll roll to get another cricket instead of taking, um, something. There's the cricket. And there's the garlic. So this will... This will die, go off. This has two health, die, go off. Bam, 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 perfect. Okay, yeah, we're set. I think we're set. So if I get a level 3 cricket, do I want to remove it? I'll freeze the snail because I have a bad feeling about the next fight. I have a very bad feeling about this one. Is it the fish guy? It's not. Well, he also has a fish, but it's not the fish guy. Oh, we won. Wow. That's so much better. So, is it like just super easy to play against people compared to other stuff? Oh. No, that doesn't fit right. I mean, I could, instead of the cricket, I could just get the monkey and buff up my skunk and put it at the far front, right? How much health do I have? Okay, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do something crazy. I'll sell this. I'll get the monkey in, I'll buff up the blowfish as much as I can, and at the very end, I'll move the blowfish towards the bag. Okay, why why do I have you frozen, by the way? It's It looks really stupid, I know. But the idea is, our blowfish will get an insane amount of health and just survive forever. And then at the far end, I'll use the hedgehog and put it to the front. Or am I may maybe wasting too much potential then? That could also be the case. Like, potential to kill people. Well, let's see how this fight will go.
Yeah, that was nice. That was also nice. That is amazing. No, I think this actually works. Because it's a level 2 blowfish, right? Do I ever want to have a turtle? Like, I could instantly get a turtle on someone. A melon armor. No, that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Because it just gets blown away by the hedgehogs later on. Hmm. Do I want to buy the canned food? I guess I do. This is such a stupid build. Like, honestly, this is this is so stupid. Oh, I, I can't go back. I thought I could go back. I want to put the skunk further to the back that the hedgehogs go off first. Earlier. Uh, looking good again. I will die now, but I think a majority of the enemy team has just moved out. Oh, it's a tie. Hmm. Interesting. To say the least. I mean, I'll just keep buffing this guy. Honestly, I... Ooh. Dude, that would be nuts. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's good. Skunk goes here now, so I have more survival at the back after they nuke. 22-24. My main issue is, technically speaking, people would know that I have my strongest unit up front, right? So they could use a scorpion. And I guess it's not just technically speaking, it is how it is. Okay, let's see how this fight goes. Let's hope for the best. That looks super good. Yeah. I don't even think our guy will die. Okay, that was hilarious. Is it normal? Is this like... Is this how it usually goes here? Or am I just getting insanely lucky? Friend ahead attacks gain plus two plus two. Hmm. This one would be very interesting behind a blowfish, right? Because the blowfish attacks so many times, this would get a, like a huge amount of buffs. I think I'll actually combine the hedgehogs now. Because I don't think I can rely on them. Like we changed to something else a while ago. There's a monkey. Okay. And I will give a garlic to this guy. Because I think he'll become huge. And let's just end turn. I don't have a level 3, so I can't get the bison. And we lost with the bison, so I'm mad at him. The lush piggies. Ooh, that's huge. The huge citizens. Yeah, that's huge. We'll even kill it. No, oh, we won't kill that. That's a level 2. I didn't notice that. <gasps> Oh, it just got its shield again. That's sad. But yeah, I mean, a 13-13 kangaroo who started as a, what, 2-2? Two, two? That's amazing. Give a pet an extra life. Okay. So now, how about, how about now we start being serious about this entire thing? I'll buff up the hedgehog. I know that by the monkey. But let's take a look, like, right, there are not that many people alive. And I don't want to lose to a freaking scorpion. Let's, let's give some sushi. And let's give some pizza. Oh, wow, pizza is insane. What? That is crazy. I'll freeze that even. So this guy is insanely strong. This will be probably our biggest issue, if I had to guess. Because he also has a dragon, so he has insane scaling. This guy was free. This guy, uh, I don't know what the cheetah does. Wasn't it like he deals half of his damage to a random enemy or so at the beginning of the fight? Yeah, uh, okay, they actually look very dangerous. I think I'll lose this fight here. Oh, that's amazing. That's hilarious. Because we killed a chicken there. He summons two... Ch okay, but we survive. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, no, but we lost. It's over. 
Yeah, but it's kind of what I expected, and it's even worse because he's a scaling guy, right? Repeats their ability. Ooh. I feel like the kangaroo is just a huge waste. Melon armor. Oh, I want that on the kangaroo. And I guess, nah, that's not even worth it to just pick that stuff up. I'll just roll and look for something good like the monkey. The monkey is actually really valuable to upgrade that. Give three random pets, that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So let's take a look at the enemies. Um, there's a melon armor. Yeah, I can just... Ooh, but that's bad with the hedgehog then, with the melon armor. Maybe like this. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm stupid. <laughs> Big brain me. Yeah, let's do it like this. I, I know I'll lose the melon armor. I just wasted the garlic. I wasn't thinking. I was being stupid. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Yeah, it's this guy. That's why I wanted to have a weak guy first, but it's, yeah, whatever. Oh no. Oh, I just lost. Ah. Gains coconut when he's hurt. Wait, doesn't that mean I can like? Okay, let's get let's get rid of this guy. Like, right? That doesn't do anything for us. Let's get this guy. And let's do this because he gets hurt and he gets a coconut shield. And I think I will just roll. And if I don't find something better, then I'll just give the sushi, like this. Now the question is. What do the enemies have? Hmm. Oh, it's only us three. So, oh, it's, yeah, here. Um, I want to break the shield. Uh, for here, nothing really matters. It doesn't matter what I do. So I'll put the skunk first, just to break the shield. Oh, and he gets plus six, plus six. I forgot about that. Good job, me. I might have wanted the gorilla first, just to buff him up. Yeah, that would have been better. Because I can go down to free life, right? That's totally fine. And that's like the worst one to do this entire thing. Oh yeah. That doesn't work out. <laughs> okay. I kind of forgot about that. Do I just sell this guy? Like, I feel like I want to have the gorilla first. That looks like a very, very solid plan. Oh, but now I could upgrade him. Like this. And then this. Yeah. Sure, why not? I mean, I think it's over. I think I straight up lost here. It's okay. It, it was fun. It was a fun round, definitely. Kind of hope the monkey would carry me harder, but it was so hard for me to figure out what is good. And I didn't figure it out. <clears throat> oh, we get at least the shield back. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, we will. Yeah, but it, it's not enough. We lost. Oh, we tied. Well, that's better than it would have been. That's good.
What was with the third guy? Like, did he die? did he fight someone, or what was he doing? I mean, I guess. Copy an ability. I don't think I want to copy any ability. I think I just want to roll for stuff. I don't think garlic on someone in the back here would have done anything. Gorilla? Okay, so the question is, do I want to put the melon on the blowfish? Yeah, I definitely want to do that. So now I'm gonna fight this guy with the bunny first. Right. So I would like to... Oh, but then no, I'm not gonna change anything. Actually, I think I was just fighting the bunny guy, wasn't I? No, I was fighting this guy here. No, I was fighting the... I don't know it anymore. Is it the bunny guy or is it the other one? Oh, okay. I wasn't fighting the bunny guy. Okay. Really? Oh, that's good. Still. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Nice! I can't believe it. We actually got the win. Do I just go for this? Like, I, I will not get anything to level 3 here, but what am I supposed to do, right? Like, I, I don't know. I guess I freeze the armor just to put it on someone. But let, let's take a look at his team, right? He has a huge dragon. He, yeah, he's just ginormous. I can't beat anything of that. Uh, his dragon has 39 health. There's no reason to change anything about my order. Actually, there is. No, there isn't. 39. I can't beat that. Oh, I could. Like this. The thing is, it was 39 health. It is most likely buffed up because this is a rotation spot. So, there's nothing good that I can do. Like, I could put the Hedgehog first to get 35 plus 4. And then a respawns plus 4 and I could kill it. But that also means I'm sacrificing the Melon Armor on the Gorilla. Which I'm not a big fan of. So, I think this is the best thing I can do. Yes, I'll buff up this... Oh, no, that's so bad. But how much damage does he have? 34. He will just kill my gorilla. That's even worse. I I'll just go with this. Oh, wow. Okay, he got a lot of buffs in. Yeah, it's just GG. But it was a nice game, I like it. It, it. it was not bad. If I got a poison, if I got a scorpion, then this would have been amazing. I don't even know if the scorpion is in here because you can look at the enemy's team, right? So it, it, it would be like really bad for some people. But that was a lot of fun, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. See you the next time, and I'm out.